In video AI turns text to video in minutes. Imagine just writing any text prompt and in video makes a full script, adds music, amazing footage, transitions, captions, and it speaks it in your voice. Even crazier, it can automatically be translated to these 10 languages. So you can post it on social media. I partnered with NVIDIA to show you how to use it step by step. So by the end of this video, you're an NVIDIA AI expert. So step number one, just go to ai.nvidio.io and I've left a link in the description. As you can see, you can join with Google, Apple or your email. I'm going to use Google. Now that you're on the inside, you can start typing a prompt. But if you want to have the language features and some additional models, all you need to do is go to the top of your profile picture, then click on setting. Here you can see that we have a beta feature that gives you early access to experimental new features. So we're just gonna toggle that on, go back again, and remember to refresh the page. Now you can see that if we click on the model V1, we can actually get access to AI V2 with 55 languages, better voice and longer prompt. I'll click on it and now we'll start writing our prompt. And remember here that the more specific you are the better are you making it for youtube or instagram with horizontal aspect ratio or vertical aspect ratio do you want a british voiceover or american one what type of music do you want what language do you want to make it in and also how long do you want it to be an easy way to do this is they've added workflows and plugins in the bottom here to help you out with all these questions for example if you have an already made script you can use this script to video if you want to make a youtube explainer youtube shorts you can click on it and you'll see that all of these options that you need to fill in are right here. So create a fast paced or very fast paced YouTube shorts about with the background music and the language and all these additional settings to make your video the best possible. Now, the new feature I wanna show you is clone your voice. So I'll click on it. And if you wanna add your own voice, you can just click on this and you can see that you need to submit a recording of at least 30 seconds. Mention, I give NVIDIA AI permission to use my voice in this workspace. Make sure that you pause in between sentences like you normally would and use high quality recording equipment. But this also works with a phone. So you just have to upload an audio file here. Obviously, if you don't wanna record your voice, you can use one of their pre-made voices that sounds really good. But remember that everybody else that also use NVIDIA will use the exact same voices. So to stand out, it could be a really good, you can use this to clone your voice. I already cloned my voice. So I'm just gonna click on use. And now you see we end up on the first page again, where we have settings, use my voice, voice one, AI and the voice clone. This tells the AI to actually use my voice. And now I'm gonna use my own personal prompt with all the criteria that I was talking about before. Make a YouTube short about the top five things to do in New York City, the tone I want to make it funny, adventure music, and around 60 seconds. Now, all I have to do is click on generate a video. On the next page, you'll see that you have to select audience. I'll do adventure seeker. You have look and feel, I'll do humorous and platform, I'll do YouTube shorts. Then click on continue. So here is the first result. Welcome to the city that never sleeps, New York City. Here are the top five things you absolutely must do when you're here. Number one, visit the Statue of Liberty. I really love how it's transitioning between the frames, the music, the captions in the center, and even my clone voice. But if you don't like your first version, you can always go to the bottom left-hand corner, click on versions, and then regenerate a second attempt. You can even edit the prompt if you want to do that, as well as go to the top and select a different audience look and feel. But I actually like this version, so I just want to improve it a little bit. The first thing I wanna change is to put the text not in the center, but actually in the lower half of the video. So all I'm gonna do is give a command that you can use natural language to edit the video. I'm gonna write, put the subtitles on the bottom of the video and click on generate. As you can see, it put the subtitles on the bottom, which is really good. The second thing I wanna do is to make the voice louder. So I'm just gonna write that, click on generate again. Let's take a listen. 
visit the Statue of Liberty because what's... Yep, now here is something cool that comes from the new beta feature and that is to change the language. They currently have 55 different languages that you can pick between, which is really cool because most of the world actually doesn't speak English. So being able to post your content in many different languages is a complete game changer. I'll change the language to German and click on generate. And now this is how it looks like. Nummer 1. Besuch die Freiheitsstatue. Denn was wäre ein Trip nach NYC ohne ein Hallo an die grüne Lady? <laughs> it's pretty crazy that it's so fast to do this. Now I want to show you how to actually edit the video. So if you click on the edit tab here, you can edit all the media that's here. So for example, if you don't like this video here of some baked goods in a 4x4 square, all you need to do is click on either upload your own media where you could have an AI video or AI image that you generated, or you can obviously search for different stock footage here. This goes from all image or video. I like video, so I'm gonna select that and I'll select NYC. And because the text that we have is Ein Stück New Yorker Pizza, I'll search for that. New York Pizza, search. And now you can see we have a bunch of beautiful footage that we can actually replace it with, like this one. Seems like a dollar slice. I'll click on replace. And you can see now by hovering over this that we actually added this on top which will replace it. To save, make sure that you click on apply changes. Now, obviously we don't only edit the media, we can also edit the script and we can edit the music. I'm gonna click on the edit script button and here is where you see all the entire script. So for example, if you wanna, instead of having a number eins and you wanna have a number format, you can change that right here. I'll just select it, click on number three, Four, and apply the changes. As you can see, now we get What's number why? two instead of the written word. And we obviously get New this Yorker beautiful pizza. footage Dünnerbo of a New York pizza. Genut. I actually want to download the current version that we have. So I'll just click on download, download the video where you have a bunch of settings. So for free, NVIDIA gives you stock watermarks and you do need a premium plan to have no watermarks. But for how much stock footage you actually get with this tool, it would cost a lot more to buy them from different sites. So I think it's a pretty good deal. We have on select in video AI branding, we click on none and the resolution, I'll select 1080p and click on continue. And we now have our beautiful video downloaded to my computer. Ob musical or a theater stück. in German, ready to post on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and even Facebook. Remember that NVIDIA AI also has an app for iOS that you can use to do the exact same thing. So you don't even need a computer to do this. And you're able to do all of this for free. And with the plus plan, you get a bunch of the additional features that I just showed you. And if you want to go all out, you can select the max plan for even more AI generation. By using the link in the description down below, you get double the credits if you upgrade to the plus plan by just using the code AIANDY on checkout. So click the link in the description and get started with NVIDIA AI today. And if you want to watch more of my videos, click the next video on the screen right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.